Greetings and welcome to the Bondi Scrapper channel. Uh, in today's video we're going to pull apart a mobile promotional display stand and if you don't know what that is, um, well it's got little legs on it. Wee, let's get back a bit so you can see it to pivot out like that. So when you're pulling, when you're dragging it around the countryside it's a little like that and um, pulls down like, I don't know whether you can see that, but it pulls down like that. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Um, and goes even further. Um, and you'll often see, you know, CEOs having a little chat with one of these put up behind them with the company logo on something like that. This one is Grant Power, whatever that is. I don't know how it got to where it's got. It's from University of Newcastle, something that they're Trying to flog off some new technology, which sounds pretty good. Um, uh, oh, waste heat, waste heat. Uh, gas turbine exhaust, diesel and gas generator set exhaust, ship propulsion heat recovery. So I would say it's something to do with, uh, whereas normally on a diesel engine, the electrical generation is, according to this, about 38%. And all the rest just goes out as uh, heat through the exhaust or heat out of the engine block or heat through the uh, radiator. They actually um, recover some of that. So isn't that fantastic? Let's, here we are, 42% overall efficiency and 11% gain. But, uh, oh, is it really 11%? I guess it is because we've gone from 38% to 42%, um, which is plus 11%. But, uh, gosh, it's still... Uh, 58% going up straight up into the atmosphere. Better than nothing, I guess, because, um, yeah, so there's that thing. Let's pull it apart. Let's see what we've got to deal with. Uh, looking at that, these little legs are held on here by a couple of little uh, Allen keys, Allen heads, and uh, I'm assuming there's a dirty big spring in there. And we've got some Phillips head screws here on the end caps. That. Uh, so yeah, let's have a let's have a look. See and, and oh, look there, that one there. That's got uh, a little tab captured there. So be careful when we're taking that end out because that'll be under a lot of um, torsional tension from the spring. I would say. So yeah, safety first because we don't want to get another another uh, band aid on the thumb, which I did yesterday. While gardening, not scrapping. Got the Phillips head electric screwdriver. I've got a little Allen key. And I'm thinking to release the spring tension. That it's held captive by this end piece here. So if we just slice that off and let it release itself in an uncontrolled fashion, that that'll do the job for us. So, let's see. Ready, set, almost there. That was good, that worked. Uh, pull the end caps off. They can go in the bin. A couple of little plastic end caps. That should allow this to light out or not uh, that's looking pretty tight so ah there's two pieces of yeah so there's two pieces can you see that I haven't got a clue where I'm pointing this thing let's climb up here okay that's about there okay so there's two pieces of um, extrusion there that uh, obviously clamp together in some way to just through friction to uh, retain the poster so I'm thinking belt that with a hammer. And that'd be the green hammer. Boom. But let's do something exciting first. Let's get the bulk of it done. Uh, so. 
going in the right direction. Take that off. Aluminium. Screws. Stainless steel. Because we don't want rusty screws when we're trying to put our best foot forward at the uh, display at the uh, trade trade show. Um, so we get that out of there. And I can feel, I can feel the spring. Come back to that later. It'll just be a big heavy This is in three, two pieces. So that's interesting. So all you do is pull that apart. And there's one piece of extruded. And to get these legs off, these are done as a grub screw. In other words, they just screw the screw up, not into a thread. Oh. They screw the screw up so that it puts tension on the item and stops it from moving. Look at that, that comes off. Let's do the other one. They weren't done up tight either, that's good. It's always a worry with these little Allen keys that you're going to break the Allen key before the screw comes loose. I've done that many a time, especially when I was a ham fisted apprentice. So, another bit of aluminium. How does this come off? Okay, thinking time over. The way this one works is that little rusty looking bit is what I thought was a circlip, um, is actually just uh, a glorified washer. This pin in the middle comes through, goes through to this steel plate, and then is peened over in order to capture it. So. The easiest way should be, hopefully, will be to drill that out. So let's do that. Hopefully this is one of the sharp drills and not one of the blunt ones. No, it's a blunt one. Try again. We have a gold drill out of a very cheap set of drills that seems to be far better than what the price implied. Notice when I did that, ideally you put it in a vise, but uh, I did hold my hand away because I figured that would spin. Right, so to bump the rivet out. Need to something as a spacer. Hopefully this will work. Ah, I've got the just the wrong size, just the wrong size. But let's see if we can do it anyway. It's an interesting one, but it doesn't want to move. So that's that done. I got it all stripped down. And what did we get out of it? Uh, well, starting from the rubbishy stuff, that's going back into landfill. Unfortunately, it's all plastic of all plastic derivatives. So that's uh, not much I can do with that one. We got uh, there. We go. Look at that. We got a little bit of aluminium extrusion. Not much. It weighs almost nothing. So there's like I don't know, ten or twenty cents worth of aluminium there. Uh, we've got some nice uh, stainless steel screws that are about 12 millimeters long and um, we'll be able to reuse those. I'll put them into my uh, box of screws to uh, use at a later date, uh, which is great. And um, we've got the spring and uh, a little bit of other steel. So um, all that saved from landfill, quick and easy scrap and uh, job done so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it 
I hope you get warm fuzzies just like I do when we save things from landfill. And um, thanks for watching, which I think I said. Anyway, like, subscribe, do all that stuff, share with your friends. Bye.